When you're building forms for your website, in many cases, you might want to add some additional logic to your forms. It could be a field that you only want to show if the user gives a specific answer in another field. My name is Sophie, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can apply logic to your form by configuring conditions. Let's dive in. I've cheated a little and added one more field to our form here. Basically, it's a field where the user needs to choose how they prefer to be contacted. Now, let's have a closer look. I've chosen the multiple choice answer type here, and I've added two pre-values. Pre-values are the options that the user has to choose between. In this case, I've added a email and a phone option. As you can see in the forms designer over here, the multiple choice answer type renders checkboxes for each of the pre-values that I've chosen. All right, now let's go back to the forms designer. What we want to achieve with this new field is to have the user choose phone, email, or perhaps both, and then have the corresponding field, say, email and phone, shown only if they're selected in this field. In order to achieve that, we need to set up conditions on our email and phone fields. Now, let's start with the email field. We'll click on the cogwheel over here. And all the way down the bottom here, we'll enable conditions. So for the email field, we will say, show this field if all of the following match. And then we're going to add a condition. And here we will select a field. So this should be, how should we contact your field? When this field is, so when it's email. All right, so this condition means basically that the email field here should only be shown if this condition applies. So that means if the how should we contact your field is email. So we'll go ahead and submit that one. When conditions have been set for a field, they will also be shown here in the forms designer. All right, now let's set up a condition for the phone field as well. We'll add a condition. So how should we contact your field is phone. And we'll submit. There we go. Now we've set up conditions for the email and the phone field. And they will only be shown depending on what the user has selected in the field up here. You can also apply conditions to your groups. If, for example, you have a group that you only want to show if a specific answer has been given on a field. All right, let's go ahead and save and check out how these conditions look on the front end of our site. So here's our form. And here's the new field where you have to choose how you would like to be contacted. So if we go ahead and choose email, we'll get a field where we can enter our email. And if we choose phone, we'll get another field where we can fill in our phone number. So let's say that in this case, I only want to enter my email. So I deselect phone and I can enter my email here and submit the form. All right, that was it. Now uh, you know a little bit more about how to configure conditions on your form. In the next video, we're going to talk about how you can view and export the data that users submit through your forms.